The government has confirmed that the sale of single-use fakes will be banned in England and Wales from the 1st of June next year. This legal action was initially proposed by the Conservative Party, as well as the ban on purchasing tobacco products for anyone born from 2009 onwards. While vaping has previously been considered a positive alternative for people looking to quit smoking, many people are now picking up vaping without ever having smoked previously, and an alarming number of those are young people. The ban on single-use vapes is with an aim to protect children's health. While it's illegal for anyone under 18 to buy the products, campaigners argue that the packaging and marketing of single-use vapes appeals to young people, something that Labour said it would put a stop to during the King's speech in July. Last year, 20.5% of 11 to 17 year olds had tried vaping, compared to only 13.9% in 2020, and vaping is now twice as common as smoking in children. As well as protecting children's health, banning single-use vapes will help to reduce environmental damage. Disposable vapes contain lithium batteries, which cause hundreds of waste fires each year, as well as circuit boards, which can link toxic compounds into the environment if not disposed of properly. Most users do not recycle their vapes once finished, and almost 5 million vapes were thrown away each week last year. Chancellor Rachel Reeves also announced a vaping tax in the budget, which will see a tax of £2.20 per 10 millilitres of e-cigarette liquid. This will be enforced from October 2026. The same increase will be applied per 100 cigarettes in tobacco duty.